Hello everybody, today I'm doing a layout and I'm using this sketch by Diana Fisher with Sketchy Thursdays. I'll include the link to the Flickr um, page where it is, but it's also included in my own Pinterest board for sketches, so I'll include that link as well. I'm working today with the Amy Tangerine Better Together collection and that's where most everything from this layout is going to come from. I absolutely loved that floral paper and decided I wanted to use a very big piece of it and then because I felt like I was going to wanted to work with the sketch I went looking for a sketch that would work with that piece of paper and came across the sketch I used. So the floral piece of paper is again from Amy Tangerine Better Together and it is called Blogs and Coffee. The background paper, the pink background paper there is called Give and Take and then the herringbone paper that I'm using right now to map the two photographs is Stars and Stripes. So the, all the papers in this collection have are named something and something, so it's kind of a cute way to name a paper. So what I'm trying to do right now is I'm just deciding how big I want to make that block, and I do want to make it pretty large. The paper on the sketch is not exactly centered, so neither will mine be either. There's less room on the left than there is on the right, less room on the bottom than there is on the top. So then I pulled this paper, this polka dot paper, navy polka dot paper, it's called Push and Pull from Better Together, and that's going to be the strip that was in that sketch. And I'll make it slightly uh, longer than the floral block there and that echoes what was going on in the sketch there as well. And then because a lot of these papers are fairly busy, I'm going to pull out my Jenny Bolin fountain pen ink, which you can't buy anymore, but I still love and use. And I'm going to ink all the edges of my papers and all of my embellishments, or most of my embellishments, to help them stand out against the busyness of that floral background especially. And then the other thing, the inked edge gives that floral background like an edge to stop. Otherwise it can look like the papers are falling off of a layout. And that's one of um, the reasons I like to use some sort of border on a lot of my layouts. Now that sketch has a piece of paper above the uh, above the photo block, so I'm going to use this yellow piece of paper from Better Together, that's bow and arrow, and I'm going to put it above the photo block, but I also cut it down there. I'm going to use it below the photo block, and in the sketch, that is not there. I'll put a journaling card at the bottom of the two photos, just like in the sketch, but included this paper as well. I just really felt it was so bright, I didn't feel like it was balanced if I didn't have something below of that yellow as well. So there I took the journaling block, and that is actually from the Give and Take paper from Amy Tangerine. It's a cut apart sheet with a lot of these little, like one by, they're probably about one by three if I, if I three or four, actually it's one by four. Um, they're two by four actually, <laughs> anyway. And put that below to echo what's going on there. And then I'm going to use this chevron strip here to mimic the, I believe there was like a, um, I, I can't even think of the term for it, a scallop. <laughs> There's a scallop um, below the photos in the sketch. So I wanted to do that, but I didn't want to use a scallop here. And I'm just deciding, um, the reason I'm trying to decide between these two is one of those border strips still has a tiny bit of the blue paper. I believe it was cut off the polka dot paper there. A tiny bit of that polka dot paper on it. And I really like um, the way that just sort of sets that border strip apart from the um, the paper above it, that herringbone. And then what I'm going to do is now I'm going to work on this title and I am going to use these uh, American Crafts chipboard letters. The font is Lindsay and it's in the color Atlantic so it's a navy with a little silver 
uh, polka dot to it. And I love these thickers, but I find them hard to use because of the silver polka dot. And on this layout, I thought they just went perfectly. Now, the one issue here is that I want to mount them on that yellow paper up there, but the title's fairly long, especially because I didn't have an M, so I just flipped a, um, I st just flipped a, a W upside down there. I often make letters out of other letters. And I also want to use a question mark because of the what the photographs actually are. And the photographs here are of my two cats. I looked over one night and they were laying there together, which they often do on the uh, sofa. But my male cat had his paw covering my female cat's face and she was just laying there. She didn't care. It was just, it was kind of funny. So um, I, the title for this is comfortable question mark because I, I'm not sure that she looked entirely comfortable, but obviously it was okay with her because she didn't, you know, she didn't stop him. And trust me, she will if she doesn't like it. So I, as I was working with this, I discovered that the photo on the right was not exactly mounted um, evenly. So I had to um, change that up just a little bit. And now I'm playing with where the photo block is going to sit in relation to that navy paper. So that's what I'm doing now. I um, am using right in front of me as my iPad with the sketch on it so that I can refer back to that. Sometimes I keep looking at the sketch throughout my scrapbooking process and sometimes I look at it you know just before I start and then don't ever look at it again but I really wanted to get the um, the proportions right here with how things were going to sit. And so now I'm going to play a little bit with how much of that yellow paper below is going to show. And again, um, that isn't on the sketch, but I really like how that looks. And the other thing that, that in this particular case, that that chevron strip is doing is it's help hiding, helping hide the gap um, between the paper and the photo mat because I, I wasn't sure how much paper I was going to need at the top and I'm just using a bit of a scrap here. Playing around a little bit here with the length of the uh, chevron paper and I decided I was going to cut the an arrow shape on the right there to give movement and it just gives your eye movement across the page here especially because they're, you know, the journaling and things like that are going to be down there. This card is perfect. When I saw it, I knew it was perfect for this particular layout because there's a, right below on that block, it says yes or no with a check mark space. So, you know, the question comfortable and then check mark is, is pretty funny. And just getting my edges glued down. Sometimes I'll ruffle edges up, but more likely than not, I am going to glue them down. So one of the things I'm using here that is not part of the Amy Tangerine Better collection, Better Together collection, is these wood cats from Seven Paper. And they're just Seven Paper wood veneer um, cats. And so I've just placed a couple of them on the layout, realized that I wanted to use three but they don't necessarily face all in the proper direction. I really wanted one facing right, but it, I didn't have that. So I put them on the layout and then decided to glue my title down while I was um, thinking about how I was going to deal with that. And um, I'm squishing the letters really, really close together here to make them all fit, but it is still very readable. Where I needed to, I left a little bit of separation. I like, I think there's a little bit of separation um, between the B and the L there. Otherwise, if I'd put it together, it probably would have been a little bit less readable. And I am using my Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive in the Fine Line bottle. I'm almost through that, um, my bottle of that adhesive, so I'll have to get another one. Mine works pretty well. And I discovered there that I actually took the little blue part off when I unscrewed it, so I had to screw it back separately. Just so that you know, now I'm kind of playing with these cats a little bit. Seven Paper was um, 
a studio calico company and they are no longer producing scrapbook supplies so you'll probably have a hard time finding these cats i i know when i bought them i bought one package and then it this and when i placed another order at a cherry on top i bought a second package because i love them so much and i don't use themed embellishments like that all the time but the cats were so cute i couldn't resist them so i've used them on a couple of layouts i did decide to pull those rubber charms and now i'm working with the die cut pack the ephemera pack from better together as well i really like the xoxo because i do love my cats but that is not going to stay because i think it's too busy there's way too much going on with that floral background um, i did think about maybe using this circle um, but i couldn't make that cat fit well and enable people who are looking at this to be able to see the cats on the sofa. I did find that Remember die cut from the uh, die cut shapes there, and that will stay on the pack. I like how it's it gives something for the cat to perch on, and it takes up some of that space because it is narrow but long. And I'm playing more, there, that's a die cut record there, which I did like the circular element there, but I thought it was too orange considering all the pink, because that is not going to stay either. Um, and the little yellow peeking out. It was just, it was too orange in that spot. If it had been pink, that probably would have worked. There is orange, obviously, in the background of the flowers there, but it's not a color I've emphasized using there. So now what I'm doing is I'm going through the Better Together sticker book and seeing what I can find there. Um, that sticker said, love this, but that's not going to make it. Still looking for more things. And I find this little postage stamp, basically, sticker. And that I like. Again, you know, I just said that I would have liked that record if it had been pink, um, and I found a pink postage stamp. So that's what's going to end up on the layout. I did, by the way, um, in case you missed it, when I was working with the record and finding things, I pulled that XOXO die cut off and put the rubber charm that says you and me back on the layout. I love those rubber shapes from this collection and have used almost my whole package. I think I might have just one or two of them left. They'd probably be very hard to get right now because American Crafts isn't shipping anything. They move their warehouse, and I don't think they've shipped anything out since January. I know lots of us are waiting for um, the Amy Tangerine collection, more of that. I know Chamel's collection is really backed up, and people are looking for it. Um, you know, I'm recording this on St. Patrick's Day right now, so March 17th. And um, I know Paige Evans' collection I thought was going to come out in March and haven't seen hide nor hair of it. So it would be nice if they could get that warehouse thing figured out. And now what I'm going to do is I want to put a few more enamel dots for another texture on this page. And I pulled my um, enamel dots that I just got from the Basic Gray Saturday Morning Collection. They're very bright and fun. All right, I'm just going to do a little bit of journaling that you'll see in the still. Hope you're all having a great day, and we'll see you, we'll talk to you soon again. Bye.